Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. It is day numero uno of the SEMA show, right? Show is. That's right. Sparking it up. That's show what we got. I want to spark. Yeah, yeah. Well, he buys. He tell him about your uh, your little habit. Spark, yeah. man. Like, if you don't like coffee, but you like the little jolt of it, spark is what you need. It's good stuff. Okay, and it's that. got all your A, B, C, D, F, G vitamins. So when all these people be sneezing on you all day, you'll be fine. International germs out here, man. You Every single that. day. Twice a day. At least. Since I've met Wooly. You alright, bud? Spark basically is if you're a fan of like what cocaine does to you, but you don't like the smell. You know, <laughs> that's Spark. I decided to hit myself up with some Spark. Bold move, Cotton. Bold move. You ready for SEMA? That's what I want to know. Jesse's doing the photography thing today. Show or I guess for the trip. Yeah. Usually Jesse's carrying around like a oh, man. 50 cal looking. <laughs> turret of a tripod and like a whole bunch of Yo, like test rigs nice. and stuff. I got to sleep early because I don't have to edit video. Yeah. <laughs> don't have to like... Four hunters on 30 minutes of sleep. <laughs> yeah, how late did you stay up last night? I, I think, think, okay look, I promised you guys a daily vlog, right? Yeah, you guys, so we got... Please, damn, watch this because you don't know like how hard he's trying, man. Walking well, around. Hunter does this one fucking night and it's like, oh, <laughs> split the Red Sea. Jesse does this every fucking night of everything. Oh, we'll be fine. Let's party till four in the fucking morning. <laughs> okay, so we didn't get settled in the room till like 1.30 in the morning. And then I realized they still need a vlog tomorrow. So I stayed up. I did the thing. I got a video also done for... A Wooly's wife, Casey. All right, so we just walked into like the little outdoor area. So outside SEMA is actually open to spectators and to the public. So you can see them, um, but you just can't go inside. So all of this is open to the spectators. So they got a bunch of display cars out here. Ford Performance. The Ford Performance has like a little show area where they do some crazy stuff. You can see right there where they drive in. It's always pretty surreal right when you walk in to the front of SEMA because they got some crazy cars out here. EG Hatch, EF Hatch, look how clean this yeah. is. It's on some rays. Badges, Badges are taken care of. It's right, we can go in at nine o'clock. It's like... Nine o'clock, it's time. It's nine o'clock, it's time to go in. We got a meeting at 9.30 with Mackin. Yeah. Then we'll take you around and show you some, some of the cool builds. Uh, Mack in last year they had some pretty cool cars. They had an R34 in their booth last year, so uh, maybe they'll have some cool stuff like that again. This car is so tall. Holy Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> yeah, because all these What kind of car do you think he drives? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a Miata for sure. <laughs> this right here is Dai Yoshihara's uh, AE86 with the new FK8 Civic Type R swap. You guys remember our Civic Type R series. If you didn't see it, you really need to check it out. But this is one of a kind. Super cool. Love the body kit. Love the wheels, the leather Sparco seats. This whole thing is just super cool. Wow. Never thought I'd see a super here. Oh, hey. There's a super here. Gladiator. <laughs> hey. Never thought I'd see a Gladiator here. I know some people have beef with the Jeep Gladiator, but I'm a fan. I think they look cool, especially when you're them like Who has this. beef with a Gladiator? Dude, a lot of people think they're hideous, but not me. No, they are hideous when they're stock. They look proportionally stupid, but look at that. Like, dude, come on. That's like the most capable truck you're gonna get. They're like, it's so fun. And it tows decent? Yeah. For a six It'll tow your little race car and shit. Yo, this thing is sick. Wow. Look at this thing, man. This is the first wide body super I've seen. That's gorgeous. I bet you didn't know that Graham and Volk and Ray and all these companies were under one family. One family. One family. One umbrella. 
This is probably my favorite of the new Volks, uh, TE-037. So uh, 6061 it looks like, but look at this. It's got oh, like it's holes this, this inside the, the spoke of the wheel. Okay. But we have I'm the, really feeling this for the 240. I might have to check the, it out. Right here is one of the cooler parts of SEMA. Uh, Toyo always does this really cool Toyo tread pass uh, to connect two of the convention centers. Uh, and they've got, they've always got some pretty rad cars displayed. Got a little NSX over there. They do such a good job of finding like just the raddest cars across all the demographics. I mean, dude, look. Like, what? No. Uh, all the cars in here are cool. They were last year, too. Look at that. I love you. I need you. No, 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 no. No, 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 yes, no, no. Yes, yes, Stop. yes, 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 here. This. Press the button so it focuses. Yeah, that's the one. It is cool. I'll give it credit, but not as cool as that. Wooly, I, I go to go pee, and Wooly, Wooly says, go. "Put the camera on me." Did you hear about the guy who invented the knock knock joke? He won the no the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> okay, I gotta pee. I got Nobel. <laughs> uh, now everybody's into telling jokes. Hey, why is the psychologist always angry? They're pissed. <laughs> Why can't you Let's hear a psychologist go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, your turn. Mike's no, like, can we just go to our meeting? I'm just, I'm just trying to... What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> that might be the worst one yet. That's, that's bad. I don't know if you guys watch Motion Auto TV. I'm not exactly sure the full backstory on this car, but I do know basically this guy took two Supras from a junkyard, two junky Supras, and basically cut them up and made this car exactly. We love you, Scott. Scott, we love you. That is actually the B face of the same wheel that is on my Focus SC, and it's the exact wheel that was on our Type R. Yep. So that is the Koenig uh, yeah. Freeform, that would be the B face, so it's a little bit more concave. Oh yeah, that was, uh, we had a silver set and we had a bronze set um, on the Motivicity Civic Type R. Yes, Matt Silver. Matt Silver. Matt Silver, sick. You might not like it online because it just looks silver, but in person, they're really cool. I like, I like the silver better on the Type R than I like the. Too. Heading over to Motivicity now. As you guys know, Motivicity was the the giant forerunner of what um, the entire Civic Type R series was. Motivicity, if you don't know, like they don't sell directly to like the individual, so you don't call Motivicity and get a part for your car. But they do sell all, not all, but many, many, many of these aftermarket brands to the different shops throughout the country. Um, so they're really kind of like behind the scenes, like heroes, you know, like. Um, they kind of make a lot of this aftermarket culture thing happen. There's TJ Hunt's uh, Ferrari. That thing does look kind of sick, to be honest. Well, that's my boy. <laughs> How are you, man? Come on. That's my boy. There's trouble here. Big man. Mike, do you know Sean, our CFO? Mike, nice to meet you. Mike. Uh, yeah. Hunter. How's it going? Hunter. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's up? I'm John. Good to meet you. How are you doing, Jason? Have you paid attention to Motivicity's TV? Oh. Why? Wait for it. Look, watch this TV. Are you ready? Look, look, look. Hey, you know who that is? Not me. That's, that's, that's not us. Look at that. Chaboy. Chaboy. <laughs> Shouldn't you be like working? What's up? Shouldn't you be like working? This is me working. Are you sure? Yes. In the bottle. <laughs> Man, it's always nice to see the Motivicity guys. Yes. Yes. It's nice. <laughs> Wooly's been drinking some Spark and now he's amped and he can't wait. Jesse's trying to get some food. And <laughs> 
Willie does not want to wait. This isn't working for me. <laughs> I'm about to like Tasmanian devil. Just <laughs> the stairs are gone. Where's the damn STs? Ford is so you gotta, you gotta overboard. Go, you gotta go over to the crossover aisle to see the STs. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesse, you're the Toyota guy. You want to tell him? Yeah. So okay. I think it was earlier this year or last year. It was last year last when the year. really bad California fire Yeah, so the California fire went through. Um, guy took his Tacoma. I guess he went to go rescue people. Yeah. No, yeah. he left his neighborhood, but there was people stuck. I mean, from my understanding, but like, there was people stuck. So he literally drove out to go in and out yeah. in order to, to Charge save the people. Look at the taillights here. And so Toyota gave so him a, a brand new truck and kept his truck in return that they've kept on display actually in the Toyota America facility but I guess they've decided to bring it to SEMA. Like look at this thing. Yo, dude, this shout is out to crazy. Toyota. Like I know like I saw it in pictures and it was like crazy but dude seeing it up close it's wild. Look at the door. Everybody, this is the Guy Haney. Every issue of S3 Magazine that you've ever seen, this is what, the, the head designer, the head editor, what would you call yourself? Um, designer, art director. Designer, art director, whatever. Yeah, uh, all the, all the cool stuff. Things. You design all the covers. All the covers. Uh, you yeah. have some assistance. With, yeah, Alex. With Alex. Alex does uh, a lot of the uh, layouts. And, stuff. and how, how long have you done the magazine? I don't know. Nine years? A long time. Ten years? He's killing it though. He does a lot of cool stuff. Oh my gosh, the whole gang is here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm right? so sorry, Welcome I was looking down. I was having to sign some of these things. Ah, oh, I see you cut your hair. It looks great. No. <laughs> it's going to have to fall out, man. It looks great. What's up, brother? How's it hey, going, you doing, man? This is Hunter. This is Hunter. And this is Jesse. This is Hunter. Hey, Hunter. I'm great Hunter. to meet you. Nice. So glad you're on the team. Jesse. Hey, brother. Great to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too, man. Nice to see you again. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? No, you're not. You're not at all. I just want you to know, I, I, every time I'm here and I see you guys, there's only one thing that comes to mind, and it was that insane suite y'all had, where I'm pretty sure y'all either made Joe sleep in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I was seen pictures Greg of what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was Joe because he snored so much. Yeah. Yeah. Greg was it on the was floor. The route, was that at the Trump? Yeah. yeah. That was such a great time. And then we went out. Like, right? Are you still staying there? Yeah. Oh, no way, there. really? We can walk here, yeah. It's easy. Yeah. It's yeah. such a good move. Yeah. Jesse. Jesse, Woo! introduce him. This is my boy Sean. What's yes, up, bro? Yeah. Uh, Florida native. Yeah. Florida native. Right down the road. Yeah. So what did you just win right I now? I just won a Mother's Choice Award. Holy shit. Yeah, right? Holy shit. Who would have thought? This little garage build thing. Come a long way. It's come a long way. This is like a full tube chassis, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's what's left of my Datsun, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, full tube chassis, LS powered, right? Imagine yeah. that, LS powered. Ah. Full carbon body. Yeah. Just out. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 I'm seeing it. All right. I'll hold out for the cover. <laughs> I'm in no rush. We I'm going to tell them. you about this magazine. I'm going to do their marketing for them. Great. Thank you. <laughs> it's one of the few magazines. Man, I'm saying this on camera too. You guys I like need to pay mail. me. It's one of the few <laughs> magazines you, that I actually enjoy getting in the mailbox when it comes out. It's pretty fun to look through. You can tell it's it's cross platform. Like it doesn't yeah. it doesn't exist only in one space. Kind of like our booth, for example. We got eight cars that kind of span the spectrum of, of motorsport. Looks like SEMA day one is officially closed. It's after five o'clock. Now it's time to figure out what we're going to do tonight. How'd the first day of SEMA go? It's good. So ah. much structure with the meetings. It was good. I feel like it went off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like this strip burger was the move. Yeah. The boys. It's my brother. <laughs> the boys. The dudes. It's none no, no, other than my boy Cone, my boy Chris Sullivan. <laughs> Alright, 
that's it for today. That's SEMA day one, 2019, in the book. So we're gonna stop filming and drink more beer. Shenanigans. If anything interesting happens, I'll include it in. But if, if not, then this is it. We'll catch you back tomorrow. SEMA vlog week, 2019. Do your thing, Jesse.